Okay, in this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you really quickly how to start uh, a Java program, uh, typing a Java program in Eclipse, which we downloaded today in class. So the first thing you want to do is go up here to your shortcut that we had made in class. And if we haven't done that, let me know and we can walk you through that uh, and open up your Eclipse program. Now the first thing you're going to see is it's going to ask you to select your workspace and I asked you all to make a folder uh, somewhere on your machine. In this case you can see I put one on my C drive. You could put it in my documents. It's completely up to you but this is what you're going to store all of your programs on for the year um, in the Java course. Uh, once you have it set and you know you're going to go there even though this says use this as your default uh, and do not ask again. Do not check this because I want you to make sure you know each time when you launch the Eclipse where the program that you're going to be typing is actually going to be stored. In this case it's on my C drive under a folder called Java Class. Okay, go ahead and click OK and this will launch the Java program. Now in order to start writing a program you gotta go through a series of steps. So the first thing that you want to do is come up here and go to File, New. Now there's more than one way to do this. You can also see uh, the drop down menu here. We're actually going to go to Java Project, but you can actually get there by uh, clicking on this one right here called Java Project. But let's, for argument's sake, let's not do that. Let's go to File, New and then click on Java Project. Now here, this is where you're going to have to name your project. Uh, in this case, let's just call it Java Test, if I could type. Okay, now you notice I did it without spaces. I use caps um, in my two different words. This is kind of important, so make sure that you do this. This is gonna be your project name. For example, one of the first projects you're going to do for me is called Hello World. It's a very common first Java project. Um, everything else should stay the same as I have it here. And then you're going to click Next. Uh, and this screen is going to come up. This is something we don't need to worry about right now. So once you create your project name, just click Finish. Okay. Now here it is, it says Java Test. Now when you click on the little down arrow on the side, you're gonna see something called a source file, the SRC file. I want you to right click on that, go to New, and then I want you to create a class. Okay, now there is your source folder, your Java Test, the name of this folder, um, can be the same thing, it's completely up to you. Java test, notice I use caps. Java is a very cap sensitive program, it's all one word. Uh, and then I want you to hit finish. Now you notice all these things should stay the same in this, in this window and click finish. Now you don't know what a class is yet, we're gonna get to that, I told you um, in our class today that, that learning Java is going to be a, a bit of an adventure because there are going to be some things we're going to do repeatedly and I'm going to say you're going to learn that in chapter two just keep practicing it and then you'll understand why when we get there so you have to be patient and follow direction so when you're done you click finish and now you have your first class public class Java test that's what we had named it um, if you wanted to find the folder, remember mine was on the C drive. I'm going to go to my computer, C drive. I put it under Java class and it was called uh, the Java test. And there is the folders that have my program I'm about to type in it. So if I ever asked you to send me an email or copy that, this is where you would come to your source folder uh, and get that. In this case, it's under C drive. For you guys, it could be under my documents. As long as you have one, that's good enough for me. Now from here, you're gonna start typing your actual Java program. But before you start any program, I need you to practice doing a few things. For example, I need you 
to put your name and the date and the program that we're actually going to be doing. So when you're at this particular point, you need to put two forward slashes and then put your name, hit enter, then you can backspace if you want to do two more forward slashes uh, and the date in this case it's 8 20 13 uh, and then the program in this case let's just say it's uh, it's Java test and let's just say chapter 1 now what these two forward slashes mean is that it tells the computer that this is not part of the program this is just text that's going to help you explain what it is you're doing. Uh, if it's a single line, you will use two forward slashes. If I was going to type a long, lengthy paragraph, um, I would use a forward slash and a, an asterisk. And then I would type something for an incredibly long paragraph. And you notice at the end, it automatically closes with a uh, asterisk and this tells in a, in a forward slash this tells the computer don't read this it's not part of the program and you're going to do at least this portion two slashes for just one sentence if it's going to be a lot longer than that a lengthy description you may want to use the forward slash asterisk um, uh, so this is what you're going to get in the habit of doing all right, now from this point on, you are going to be able to actually write your Java program. So I'm going to stop this tutorial here, and this is something that you want to get in the habit of doing uh, on every single program that we create.